Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Irene, and today is our day 19 of our 21 days of uh, discipline. And I hope you guys are having a good time because uh, I personally um, enjoyed this series a lot and um, I really want to continue. But um, today I want to so share something different, which is um, resting in the midst of our um, discipline, in the midst of our war and everything and um today the verse i will be sharing is from isaiah 40 verses 29 to 31 it says he gives power to the faint and to him who has no might he increases strength even youths shall faint and be weary and young men shall fall exhausted but they who wait for the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall, f they shall walk and not faint. This is the word of the Lord. And this is a promise from God that we will not be weary. We will not uh, faint. And um, I think uh, as we are going through our discipline, our, as we are fighting our battles every day, every single day, um, I just want us to know, as I was reading some articles, it also said how important rest is in the midst of uh, battles, in the midst of um, while people are athletes, they're like running their races. Um, they have some like a marathon, a long marathon. They have some um, breaks in the middle. And, um, you know, we talk about how uh, we have run the race um, in the Bible, right? As in like we are living our life and we are running this race, right? L life is a race. And so I think in the midst of all of these um, challenges or as in the midst of the race that we are running, I truly believe that rest is so important. Um, God, he created the whole universe and he even rested on the seventh day. And um, Jesus also... As he was doing his, um, as he was living his life in the um, here on earth, um, he also rests in the boat, and he's not, he's not. It's not that he needed rest, you know. But I think um, it's very uh, important. Rest is very important. He knew that um, he had the this trust and confidence in God that God is going to take everything. And I think sometimes as Christians, we tend to, um, even though we're doing good things, like with ministry and everything, we tend to like overdo stuff and like we tend to grow really weary. And um, But God does not want that. He wants us to enjoy our life to the fullest and life in abundance, right? But sometimes we forget to rest thinking that, oh, maybe like if we feel guilty or... Uh, we think that, oh, we should be always be on the go. We shouldn't waste time. But I think rest is so important. And here in the verse, um, it's a promise from God that it says that they who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. And this really struck out, stuck out to me because um, sometimes we forget to wait on the Lord and we do things like very... Um, in a very uh, rush and so I think it's um, and sometimes we make decisions which is not um, really from God uh, but we think that it is because we did it in a rush and um, but I think I do believe that as we're waiting sometimes we need that rest to really for God to renew our strength because it just doesn't come with us like always being on the run and on the go and um so after that line it also says that they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary so as even as we are so when we wait on the lord even as we are running we will not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. So even when we're walking, we will not faint. And so this is a promise from God. And I really pray and hope that um, even as you're running this race, as you're fighting your battles every single day, I really encourage you guys to um, take that rest and not just like resting, like sleeping over the day, like whole day. And um, yes, that's important too if you need physical rest, but just like leaning on God and just um, knowing that he being still and knowing that he is God and not us and he is in charge of everything even though like we don't go to um, 
do things you know do ministry and stuff like it's like sometimes you know it's it's not i'm not encouraging you guys to like stop doing whatever you're doing but also you like not to overburden yourself and lean on your flesh and do things um that's like totally dependent on you and um just yeah i guess like what i want to try to say is um just stay still and know that he is god and trust in him that it it doesn't have to be you you know to for god to use you every single day but um god can still work even when you're resting and so just uh discern and um ask the lord to give you peace um and he definitely we will give you peace and i really encourage you that like even though it's um even though you are um every and it's not just like physically but also mentally um i think that's the most important because i think we are as human we are like mostly in our thoughts so um i really encourage you that give your thoughts uh to god give your um decisions to god and um i think that will give you peace because we know we know our god he has the best plans for us and plans to not harm us but to prosper um so i just yeah i encourage you guys to trust in god and rest uh even in the midst of all these um battles that we're fighting and yeah i hope you have a great day um but let me pray before we end this lord jesus thank you thank you so much for this life that we get to live um thank you that this race we don't have to do it alone but god you are sovereign you are always walking with us lord jesus and guiding us step by step lord um lord as we um learn how to rest in you lord jesus i just pray that lord um we give you all our thoughts our burden whatever whatever's taking up our space lord jesus whatever is blocking us from you lord we surrender them to you right now lord jesus and i pray that lord that you give us peace lord that your holy spirit would fill us lord jesus as we are resting lord and that we get to uh, trust you more and more and that we get to be dependent on you lord jesus and that we have this confidence that you are control you are sovereign in our lives lord jesus thank you so much for always being there for us and for giving us peace and joy we love you in jesus name amen all right guys have a good day and well done we're almost done with our 21 days of discipline